Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to format a USB drive for a PC or a Mac. Okay guys, so I have a lot of people asking me about uh, how come they cannot copy files or they can't read files from their USB drive um, on, on a Windows machine or a PC. And uh, my first question to them is, do you use a Mac at home or do you use a Mac to uh, create those files? And the answer is usually yes. So what happens is uh, when, the, when the person puts in a, a USB drive into their Mac, it's formatted in uh, a Mac format, and then when they take that USB and plug it into a PC, the PC can't read it, and actually they can delete all their data by accidentally clicking format their data, and I'll show you that uh, in, in a second. So today we're going to show you how to uh, format it correctly so it can be read on both Windows and also uh, a Mac. Okay guys, so I recommend you try to format the USB first of all on a Mac. If you go into Go, and then Utilities, and then go into Disk Utility. Alright, and I haven't plugged my USB drive in, I'm just going to plug it in now. Alright, and then you'll see it's just a 1 gig uh, iFlash media uh, drive there. Once it's there, we want to we want to select it from the left hand pane there, click on the Erase tab. So first of all what I'm going to do is format it as Mac OS Extended Journaled and you can change the name in here, let's say we'll change it to 123MyIT and then we just hit Erase and I'll show you what happens when uh, you try to plug this into a Windows machine now after formatting it. Alright, so we'll just go up and eject it. Guys, so I've just cut across to the Windows machine now and I'm going to plug in the one gig USB drive that we formatted and we get this message pop up you need to format the disk uh, drive F before you can use it do you want to format it and then you've only got the option of format disk or cancel so as you can see this can be really dangerous because if you've got data on there and you just you don't read it properly or you don't really understand and you click format disk and you can actually go through and, and delete uh, any any files that are on your disk now. So it's, uh, you can lose all your data essentially. Alright, so we just got to go close on that one. And we're not going to format it. And we're going to eject the USB and we're going to go back to our Mac. Okay guys, so we've moved back to our Mac here. And I've plugged in the 123MyIT USB. We're going to click on it again. We're going to go to the Erase tab up the top. And we're going to just change the format. Now, you can actually use any of these two formats here, so MS-DOS FAT or XFAT. Uh, and if you format the drive in any of these uh, formats, you'll be able to read it with no problems on a Windows machine or a PC. So if we just uh, select MS-DOS FAT at this stage, again, we're going to put in 123 my IT name, and we're going to click on Erase. Okay, now this will delete any data that we have on the disk, so we just want to go erase. Alright, and now that we can actually read it, we're going to just quickly put a untitled folder on there. We'll call it 123myit. Alright, we'll close this, and now we'll just go back to the Windows PC, and we'll see if we can read this one. Okay guys, so we've just moved back now to the P Windows PC and I'm going to plug in the USB and there we go, it comes up, so we'll just hit that one. Right, we want to open it and view the files and there we go. So you might say, oh there's some other hidden files here, now see how they're kind of uh, see-through? I've actually got uh, files and folders turned on uh, on the Windows setting. So if you've got that turned on, you will see it. Otherwise, you won't normally see these files here, um, and it will just be the 123MyIT folder. You can click on that, and you can see that the folder is there. So, And now we can read to it. So we can also, if we wanted to go new and go text document, there you go. It's all working there now. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if that's helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and feel free to leave some feedback on the websites. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.